Music can be medicine for the soul. Local musician talent Chris Cameron and the Wayward Saints talk about their new adventures, including a joint project with the infamous Robert Tepper, who wrote and performed many songs like No Easy Way Out and Rocky IV. Well, my name's Chris Cameron, and uh, I am the uh, guitarist, uh, songwriter, and singer for Chris Cameron and the Wayward Saints. And this is my friend Wolf. I'm one of the Wayward Saints. He's the waywardest of Wayward Saints. and. Uh, he plays upright bass, and uh, my wife, who could not be here today, plays the drums. Her name's Adrian, and uh, we, I've known Wolf since I was maybe 14, 15 years old. Um, I was going to school at Alma, was at the high school and was looking for a job, and I think somehow, someway, Mr. Valentine, who was our principal at the time, had spoken to Wolf about me and uh, had arranged kind of behind the scenes for uh, for us to, to connect and and I ended up going to work for him at his print shop. Years later, fast forward, um, I'm, uh, I'm in the process of, of playing some music. I'm, I'm back in town. It's, it's, it's during the pandemic or right after, I guess. I go to Wolf and we start making some music. And I say, well, you know, he's, he plays violin, plays banjo, guitar, all these things. And, and I said, you know, I, I really need somebody to play upright bass for this thing that I'm doing. And actually, my wife participated because Wolf thought it would be a good idea to bring another voice in, which it turned out to be a terrific idea. We added her in percussion, and it all kind of came together in that way. So now, um, through that process, I've started, you know, really in earnest writing a lot of music for this ensemble. Scaled it back, you know, to a place where we could do it in, in listening rooms and, and things like that. So that's how Wolf and I reconnected, which is really wonderful because, I mean, who gets to make music really with their wife and their and their best friends, you know, it's it's a it's really a fantastic deal. One of the things that that prompted us to do this was I'm starting to have started to have some hearing loss um, from playing in uh, bands for years. That that I mean, they weren't they, they were good bands. They were, uh, but they were conventional bands. They were places where the bass player had an amplifier and the the drummer played on a full set of drums and it were mic'd and what it really did was hurt my hearing and um, so when I started doing this one of the big appeals of doing this was the fact that um, the upright bass kind of sets the, the the really sets the tone for how loud the instruments around them are going to be so if we're louder than the upright bass you turn it down and what that's really done is it's it it allows you to sing better well it's it's an intimate intimate way to uh, play music to people who, who want to know the stories. How did you write that song? Uh, why are you playing an upright bass or why, why are you playing uh, an acoustic guitar as opposed to an electric guitar on that song? And it's little nuanced things that that you would miss playing uh, at, at a saloon somewhere. Right. But when you're playing in, in uh, uh, a more intimate setting where you actually get to talk to and, and listen to the songwriters, and uh, it's it's a much more the, the, the music means more when you know the backstory. Right. I'm watching Rocky IV one night, and and uh, and the scene where uh, Apollo dies. Uh, spoiler alert. Um, after that is a scene where this guy sings, and Rocky's in his Lamborghini driving around and thinking back about Apollo and the times that they had together and. It's called No Easy Way Out, and I thought, man, that, what a wonderful singer. Go to the end of the movie, and I'm watching the credits roll, and I see this name. It says Robert Tepper. So I go on his website. I go and I look on there, and I see an, I see a, a, an email address to go and write his uh, booking agent, his manager. So I did, and like moments later, I get a phone call, and uh, it's from the manager, and I talked to her. Her name is Tammy. She's wonderful. And uh, get off the phone start start the start the, the process with him and then just a little bit later I get a call from Robert I was like well this is the, I mean which 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 doesn't happen right so I, I'm sitting here talking to him how y'all be here at this time whatever you know and he gets here long story short he gets here and he's playing he's getting ready to, to play we're doing sound check and I say hey man you know it would do me a lot it would it would be great I mean it would be like a dream come true if I could sit here during sound check and play No Easy with you, and then uh, and we we get to get to talking, and then he goes, why don't you just play it with me tonight? So I got to play it at a gig with him, which was even better. 
and then we get to talking more. And then the next thing you know, um, we're booking shows with, you know, Robert's like, you know, he says, hey, come to Los Angeles, we'll play at the whiskey. You know, now I'm helping him with, with various um, business things with regard to his songs and licensing and, and just making, you know, really having a ball. But we're also working with Robert on a new record, which is a, um, not to give away too much, because but, but he is, Robert has a, a back catalog, 40 years of, of writing songs, several of which are, are large hits. So this iconic voice that you're going to frame up in a way that's really stripped down and really makes him, you know, as relevant as he, he really is. What's even cooler is the fact that that guy can still do that plus all this other stuff, which is what's exciting. And plus, he and I are riding together, Wolf and I are riding together, and uh, I just, it, it's just a, it's, I'm gonna say this, it's the best time of my life making music. It's the best time of my life making music. Making music with him, making music with my wife, you, you know, I don't want I don't want to do anything else.